Hi, today's first movie is Letters to Juliet, starring Amanda Seyfried, Vanessa Redgrave, Franco Nero, and I don't know who plays Charlie. I don't know his name. Uh, and who else? Christopher Egan. Okay, there you go. But uh, this movie. I watch for them. I don't watch it for Amanda. For I don't watch it for them. Um, the thing is, is this movie when I saw it in the theaters, I loved it so much. Like I loved um, the story and everything. And then me watching it. Um, it's kind of slow, and it takes a long time to get to Vanessa Redgrave and Fink on Neil's uh, story. I, I mean, they're trying to get you to want um, Amanda and her and that guy to um, be the main couple that you kind of want to get together because of the young couple. But at the end of it all, I don't care about them. I care about... Um, the older couple because this Red Grave and Faco and Eva are married in real life and you can see the chemistry between them and the love between them and it's just so sweet and um, they take a journey to try to find him because um, in the in the movie Claire the, the company called Letters to Juliet where um, they're a wall and People can write their dreams and what they want on the wall, and then these women write them back and give them advice. And Amanda Seyfried's character um, finds an old letter from Claire, who's played by Vanessa Redgrave, and it starts this journey to find her Lorenzo, who's played by Frank Nino. And it takes a long time to get to um to get to Lorenzo it takes way too long I in my opinion um they could have shortened that a lot a lot um I'm not saying it's a bad movie I'm just saying that it's slow um to get to certain parts I mean it's still cute and I love it still but um I honestly just watch it for for this red grape and Franco Nero's um, journey um, because if you didn't know Franco Nero and Vanessa red grape uh, they were did it a movie together and they dated each other and then when the movie was done they went back home and they would write letters and then eventually the letters stopped and both of them got married to other people and um and then Vanessa got a divorce and Franco's wife I don't know if he got divorced or she passed away but he was single and then I don't even know I don't remember how they met up again but Franco and Vanessa met up again somewhere I don't remember and um it was 30 years later and they met up again and they got married and their story is so sweet, and they're so sweet together, and, um, yeah, it's cute. They're really cute. But, again, they're trying to make you fall for the young couple, but I don't. I fall for the older couple. Um, and I might, and from what I figure it out, like, people who watch this movie, they went in to the younger couple, and they left in love with the older couple instead um that's what uh, and so yeah they the older couple you know people like to see that love can last and to watch Franco and Vanessa together you can tell that it, that love is though it can look love can last um so yeah I think that's it Watch it if you want to um, get to Faco and, and Vanessa quicker. You know, you can just go to a certain part in the chapter selection and just watch that. Watch it from there. 
Um, but I think that's it. Goodbye. Mm.